Hey there everyone, this is Teresa Jackson for Creative Pro. Today I have an Illustrator coloring tip for you. I know this will save you a ton of time if you ever work with Pantone color swatches. What do you do when you find out that your finished illustration or design was supposed to be colored with Pantone swatches? Do you pull out your Pantone swatch book? Maybe you scroll through the Pantone library that's built into Illustrator trying to find the perfect color. Well, not anymore because I've got a much, much faster and more accurate method to convert colors to Pantone swatches using Illustrator's Recolor Art. I have this really colorful abstract background graphic here that's used for a lot of Creative Pro marketing. It contains a ton of colors. All of the shapes are colored with non-global solid colors. Let's open the color panel and the swatches panel so we can take a look at that. If I select on any one of these triangles, we'll see that they're just solid color mixes. What we want to do is change all of these colors to Pantone colors, and we'll use Recolor Art for that. To use Recolor Art, you have to select all your artwork. So that's the first step. Do a Command A or Control A to select all of the art. And then if you're using the Essentials workspace or you have the Properties panel open, you'll see the quick action to get to Recolor Art right here. So I'll click on Recolor, and that opens up the Recolor Artwork panel. We don't need the right side of this panel for this technique, so I'm going to click on this triangle to collapse it. We'll move this over to the side so we can see what happens. Before I show you how quickly we can change this, let me give you a little overview of Recolor Artwork in case you're new to it. It's a little intimidating when you first look at this panel because so much is going on. But the most basic thing to understand is that there's two columns here. The first column represents all of the colors in your artwork that are selected. So it tells us here at the top, there's 156 different colors in this artwork, and they're just all listed all the way down. This is the color that it will change to, and there's multiple different ways to change these colors individually, but for this technique, we're going to limit what these colors can be to a color library. And we do that here where it says none. There's an icon here, and that's a shortcut to all of the Illustrator color libraries. So I'm going to go to Color Books, come over here to Pantone Solid Color, and select that. We can barely even tell what's happened because Illustrator is gone and found the most perfect Pantone match. So what we have in this list now are actually all Pantone colors. If I double click on one of these color swatches, it'll bring up the color picker and it's showing us that it picked a color from that swatch library. So this first color, the brown color, it's chosen Pantone 7584 for that color. Then I'll click OK to apply that. And then let's open our color and swatches panels again. And looky here, we have all these Pantone colors added to the swatches panel here. And if I use my direct select tool to select any one of these triangles, we'll see that they have also been recolored using the most perfect Pantone swatch available. So there you have it, a quick and easy way to recolor your art with Pantone color swatches. Hey, thanks for watching this video. And if you want lots more tips like this, be sure to check out creativepro.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel.